Our rare here is Surge Hacker Mech. We drafted this at the last draft. Again, it acts as removal and can act as a nice menace creature in the late game. So we're going to go ahead and hover onto that. Keeps us very open. Other cards I like in the pack, Jukai Naturalist, I think uh, has one of the, it follows one of the best archetypes in enchantments. Spirited Companion is a really solid um, draw card and is also an enchantment. Also love Modern Age. Helps you get through the deck and gets you a 2-3 flyer. Not bad value for 2 mana. Fang Shigeki does a lot of work. I think I like that on the wheel. Searchlight Companion is also a great wheel card. Tamiyo Safekeeping is also good on the wheel, as well as Rugged Highlands. I think we will go with Sur Surge Hacker Mech. I'm just curious to see, like, who is here. You recognize anyone? Nope. So we'll go with Surge Hacker Mech. Keep us open. Next pick. All right, I really like Michiko's Reign of Truth. This would put us into enchantments. It also helps that Surge Hacker Mech is an artifact, so it helps also with the pump there. Other cards I'm looking at, uh, if we wanted to go artifacts, we could go with Sokens on Smelter. Uh, I'm also seeing some mana fixing with Grafted Growth, Commune of Spirits. Again, I think these, these two cards here I think are good on the wheel. There's also some secondary removal. It's not as great because it requires... Uh, Wanderer's Intervention requires to deal damage to a target attacking or blocking creature, so it doesn't allow you to get damage through unless you have a trample creature. And the rare is okay, but it's not great. I mean, it forces you to sacrifice artifacts and other creatures, so it really belongs in like an, an artifact uh, deck where you can, for example, if you pair this with the Anvil and you have like 1-1 one, one, uh, artifact tokens and you can sack them, that's where this card really shines. But we're going to go with uh, Mishko's Reign of Truth. I think that has the, the most upside here. All right. So next pick. Some interesting choices here. We have Roaring Earth, which is I think is a little slow. Other cards in the pack. Again, we have Wanderer's Intervention. We have Lethal Exploit, which exact has some removal. I'm going to hover onto that. Tales of Master Shesh Shiro is pretty good. Although I don't think it's necessarily one of the best top-end common uncommons in green. I would definitely prefer like Buseju, uh, Saga, or uh, Tanuki, or even uh, a Harmonious Emergence. But still not a bad top-end if it wheels. Coming Spirits, again, is a good wheel card as well. A lot of these cards, I think, actually are wheel cards. Um, but I think the best out of them is I think we'll just get Lethal X Point. We'll just get the removal. All right, so next pick, we have the black and white land, if we are going to go black white, but we're nowhere near deciding whether that's going to be the case. We have Walking Skyscraper. Um, this is can be a build around if we know we're going to tokens, but if I had tokens, like I would definitely prefer going into green because we have a lot more ways to, to put tokens onto creatures. I love the flexibility of Sunblade Samurai, so I'm going to hover onto that. We see another Commune of Spirits. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a necessary sign that a green that green is open because you typically want commune experience late, and you only really want one or two, in my experience. Another grafted growth for fixing. Mirshell crab is decent channel um, to to you know early counter as well as uh, having a top end. Uh, but I think I'll go with sunblade samurai. I like the flexibility here. Uh, again, these other cards here I think are cards that we would want on the wheel. Okay. Oh, gosh. Not much here. There's Covert Tactician, which works if we were wanting to go into artifacts. All right, allows you to put an artifact card of mana value less than or equal then. Um, I think maybe going Voltage Surge. Just get another removal card here. I think it's a little early to get Network Terminal. We could also go with the uh, duel here. Actually, you know what? I think this might have more upside. We already know we're playing white. So the option to splash a blue card I think would be great. So let's go ahead and go with Tranquil Cove. We're probably going to have more than enough uh, playables here. All right, next pick. All right, we are seeing a lot of red now. Some Some removal here. So, 
We see Bamboo Grove Archer, some decent green cards. Um, as well as Season of Renewal. I think at this point though we can't we can't ignore the the red signs that are coming out here. Flame Discharge, I think, is an excellent card that is definitely splashable. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Okay. So next pick, we see some blue cards. We see Tawashi Guidebot, but again, this is better if we have more counters. We also see a decent uh, three drop and searchlight companion. Um, I don't know if we're playing black or green. I think maybe the safest pick is to go with searchlight companion. Here, I just don't see too many signs um, that any color is really open right now. Okay, we do see a Fang of Shigeki, which I think is solid. I'm going to go with that. There's also an Ecologist Terrarium. Um, so I think it's between these two. Either we go with Fang to see to, to get a little bit of green, um, get a little piece of that, or we go with Ecologist Terrarium to get even more open. This is tough. You know what? I'm actually going to stay open. I'm going to go with Ecologist Terrarium. Yeah, this has been a tough first pack so far. Okay. We have Synthesizer. Tamio Safekeeping, but again, not a lot of green here. Uh, I think I might go with the Synthesizer. It could be, there could be a chance that we still go into Artifacts. If we look at College Terrarium, Flame Discharge, maybe we go like Red-White Artifact, maybe? Sunblade Samurai isn't too bad either, because the channel ability wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go with the uh, Synthesizer here. Alright, not much of anything here. Uh, we'll go with Mirror Shell Crab. No, actually no. We're going to go with uh, Smelter, sorry. If Artifacts is open, then this is going to be a very key card. Uh, because it allows us to make three one construct creatures. We're we're if if this is the direction that we are going in, then we are definitely gonna need to look for car like we're gonna need to look for the anvil. We really need that anvil. This is a decent uh trick here for Kindled Fury. Uh I think we go with the decoy here. Okay, not much of anything here. Go ahead and grab this. Maybe it's a top end. Directly emergence is okay. And Blade Buster might be playable. We'll see. Okay. Now we see a ton of green here. Kappa Tech Wrecker is an amazing card, but we hadn't seen much green before. Mind Link Mech is a solid card. The crew one is excellent. See, now we see Jukai Preserver. I think I go with Mind Link Mech. Uh, this might go with if we're going with an aggro strategy. It's a whole grace that it makes a copy of whatever is crewing it. So any kind of ninjutsu sort of powers work really well with Mind Link Mech. So we're going to go ahead, I think, and take it. I hate passing the Kappa Tech Wrecker. It's really solid, but I don't know if green, how open green will be. Okay. Our next pick. All right. I think this is where we have to make some decisions here. <sighs> this helps with sagas, but we haven't seen many. I think right now, I think we might... I think I might need to commit into red this time. It's the only really color that I've really seen has been open here. Air of Enlightenment's also really good if we want to go into white. Um, just trying to think. This is tough. Do I try to go long term with Air of Enlightenment or do I go with removal Seismic Wave? Because Seismic Wave might wheel if red is open. Boy, no, I'm gonna go with Air of Enlightenment. This might this might be a bad pick. 
I'm not ready to commit to uh, enchantments just yet. Oh boy. Now this is really tough. Um, well, Life of Tashiro, though, is a... Sorry, that's not quite so tough. Life of Tashiro is an amazing card. <laughs> what am I doing? I guess my decision here is is uh, um, whether I'm going to go into red or not. But Life of Tashiro is an amazing card. Um, definitely splashable here. It does a lot of things that we want to. can act as small removal, can help get damage across. It's just, it's just an excellent card. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. Okay. And now we're seeing, again, we're seeing signs that red is open. I think we can't ignore that anymore. Um, I think we need to go with the Simeon Sling over the Tempered in Solitude. If we go Tempered in Solitude, then that means we're, we can even go into, like, Samurai um, attacking with one creature. But we are going to want to have attachments to that creature. And so having one drops is incredibly important um, if we are going to go into red. Not having enough one drops is a killer because uh, you have to go very, very fast. We have to be very aggressive. And so Simeon Sling, I think, will be the case. We're going to hope that Temperate Solitude wheels. Okay. I think the next pickup here is going to be another Lethal Exploit. Get more removal. Okay. Not sure if Air of Enlightenment is where we want to go, but if we have the Sunblade Samurai, it allows us to pick up a, um, a Plains, just in case. Okay, this is good. Okubo Recruiter Raid. Again, we want to get as many of those one drops as we can, try to get as aggressive as we can. We are passing up an Upriser Renegade, which can be good if we get, get um, more modified creatures out. Hmm. Deciding between either the Peerless Samurai or the Unforgiving one. Um, I think Samurai is probably safer. There's also Brute Suit. Again, the, these Crew 1 uh, vehicles can, can help us out. Um, we also have an Uncharted Haven here. But if we're going aggro, um, we don't want to worry so much about fixing. Okay, Reinforce Ronin is right in our strategy here. Okay, so we are building up um, some nice one drops here, which, which is nice. We're going to decide whether splashing um, Michiko, Mind Link Mech, Sun Blade Samurai, whether it'll be worth it later. Um, but we, we are now fully into artifact action. Okay. Here... I think the, a choice between the Aki Ember Keeper and the Ambusher. I think I'm leaning more toward the Ambusher. I'm trying to think of like what are ways that we have we can create modified creatures. It's really only the Simeon Sling right now. Not seeing other ways of attachments. Ooh, and it did wheel. Seismic Wave. Would have loved gotten the Ogre too. But red is definitely wide open. Exemplar is also an interesting pick if we decide to do like the solo attackers, but um, I don't think we're quite in that position just yet. I think black is probably a little bit stronger as a wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Voltage Surge. I want all these cards. Uh, this might be a key two drop. Oh, no. Removal. Got to go with removal here. Oh, I would love all of that. Okay, not exactly as I want to, but we'll go ahead and another Kindled Fury. Or actually, no, it's like flexible. Let's go with the Ambitious Assault. I have seen this uh, card kind of go over the top. Gift of Wrath might be useful. Okay. All right. So if we're going aggro, then we got to go with another Seismic Wave. All right, not seeing much else here. Uh, mirror box is just not really playable in draft. We're probably going to wheel that and just get the gems because I really don't see anything else in this pack that will work with our deck. Okay, we have another sling. Here is good. Gravelighter is also pretty solid, but I think we have enough removal here. 
Uh, we need to prioritize our one drop so uh, we can get about 24, 25 playables, I think is our goal. So we can play like 15, 14 landish. That's where we want to go. So we're going to go with another sling. Ooh, boy. Okay. Selfless Samurai is an excellent card, but we're not really playing white. We're really only splashing white. But I've never actually chance to play this card, but I know it screwed me so many times. I think the call here is Clawing Torment. This card can do a lot of work, and especially if we're trying to get damage early, it removes a blocker. And uh, I've definitely like used this on, say, like a Bamboo Grove Archer, or had it been done to me, and the Bamboo Grove Archer just pings me and does like 8 damage to me, and I can't do anything about it because I can't um, block with it and attack with it. So Clawing Torment, I think, is going to be a key card in this aggro deck. Okay. All right, so we have another lethal exploit, but I think I think we go with the Iron Hoof Boar. Allows us to help tr get Trample, help us to really go over the top. I think it's the play here. Um, let me get rid of the splashing here, just to see what red-black would look like by itself. Yeah, we're going to have plenty here. This is going to be fine. Right, like the channel to get the trample will be very useful. Okay, rabbit battery. Definitely, we want another uh, another at attachment here, and the fact that it provides haste is excellent for our deck. So that's going in. Okay, so you have another option of another iron hoof bore, or a uh, Heiko Yamasaki. Um, I'm not sure what's better. I do like the flexibility of the boar, so I'm leaning toward that. Yamasaki could be useful. I just don't know how often I'm going to have a, a creature attack alone. I know that's the ideal. I think I'm going to go with the boar. Okay. I think here we go with Twisted Embrace. This is tricky because I'm not crazy about having two black mana. But the flexibility of being able to destroy any creature could be uh, uh, really important. I think it's more important than the ninja's kunai, which I think is a little slow. Another simian sling. I think we can't have enough of those. Again, we really want to have uh, um, attached creatures here. Okay, I don't think Gift of Wrath is something we want anymore. Explosive Entry, I think, isn't bad. I don't want to play two Peerless Samurais. Brute Suit, maybe, but I think having the removal... I don't know if it'll make the cut, but being able to destroy an opponent's artifact could be useful. Uh, I'm not crazy about any of these. Akiron's a two-drop, but... Not my favorite. Here, I don't mind getting the red-white. Again, giving the option to splash the Michiko. Another Aki Ronin here. Mm, yeah. Well, we got a third Iron Hoof Boar, so maybe I should have actually picked up uh, whatever that wasn't the Iron Hoof Boar before. This might be too many, actually. Okay. So let's take a look. 44 cards. Uh, I love Michiko, but I think it might be too much to splash. We are going aggro. And I think we even want to go... Here, wait. Actually, let's just get rid of our lands first. Number of vehicles you control. I just want to make sure. Uh, so we don't really have many vehicles. So this is really just like a, a, a two removal, which isn't bad. Uh, oh, we don't need the Ecologist Terrarium anymore. We're not splashing. I think we maybe go to 15 land here. Might be the play. 15 land. I'm sad that we didn't 
get the anvil. The anvil is such a useful card in this uh, archetype. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten removal cards. That's just wow. Huh. So in this case, I guess the explosive entry can go. Um, and I think I'm liking this. Yeah, I think I'm liking this. I'm wondering whether I want the ambusher or if I go with another boar. I think I do. I want to go heavier red, I think. It might make it hard to play the Twisted Embrace, though. That is my worry. Because I don't want to get mana screwed. But I think this works. Let's try this. Let's keep the Twisted Embrace. Um, if we do end up running into trouble casting the Embrace, we'll go ahead and maybe switch out with the Ambusher. But I think I like this. 16 to 6. Well, okay, that changes things actually a little bit. Because I, uh, 16, 6, I mean, let's take a look at the land breakdown, right? We, we have 15 land. Right, oopsie. I really want to go actually like 9-6, like 15 land here. I don't know if if I really want to rely on trying to get the two black for a Twisted Embrace. Now that I see that I have even less black cards than I thought I did, um, I'm thinking maybe the Mukatai is actually probably a little bit better. It'll be easier to cast. We only need to rely on one Swamp to be available. Um, and in this situation, that actually means that the Ecologist Terrarium actually might have some use. I know it's an aggro deck, but just being able to pull that second color would be useful. But I think I'm going to run it this way. Um, even if I do not getting swamps, I think there's still like just enough like red playable here. Uh, we have enough playables here to, I think, make it worthwhile. So I think we're going to try it, run it this way. We're going to see what happens. I'm not the best at playing aggro. I mean, if you know me, I love my green, grindy type decks. But we'll see if we can make the aggro work. Okay, all red. This is fine. The opponent goes first. That's a shame. Let's see how much damage we can get in with this Ronin. This Ronin's so good, by the way, with the Anvil, because the Anvil makes a creature whenever it's, uh, uh whenever uh, an artifact leaves the battlefield. We're seeing is mono white. Okay. 
thing. And they are going all out with their removal. It's green line enchantments. Jukai. I can kill it now, actually. Before I got the token. <sighs> okay. Missing my one drops. Okay. Need one more mana. <laughs> Didn't realize that this was a mid-range artifact deck. There we go. All right, now we're now we're cooking. Okay, what surprises do you have? Another Wanderer's intervention. Oh, boy. How much removal do they have? I'm gonna block. I think I need to Clung Torment that thing. Let's see, go. Ugh. That's a problem. So I guess we're racing. Searchlight Companion. Oh my goodness, how much removal do you have? <sighs> wow. to bring this no I have to it's not enough I need a bigger creature Okay, this is good. We'll get the damage in. Please don't have anything to cast. It's 
Still have nothing to crew. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. Woo! Wow. Clawing Torment, man. Did the work. Edged it out. Woo! The thing I worry about these aggro decks is that they can very they can be outvalued very quickly. Like Bamboo Grove Archer is a brutal card that you can't really get through. If there's an early presence on the on the board, it can be really tricky to get get past. So it's nice to see aggro perform the way it did, especially after dealing with so much removal. My goodness. Gosh, that was a lot of removal. Noble Chaos. Mwah. All right. Love it. Black, red. We're going to have our smelter down. This is going to be good. Damage as I can. Oh, I guess someone's calling him. Let me go ahead and see if I can turn that off for a second. another land if we can get another land I would love uh, to be able to attach this and then we can lethal exploit you still thinking yeah yes Four here. Let's get three one, which will kill the prancer. <sighs> but then this gloom shrieker can go ahead and bring it back. That's annoying. Can you do the damage? Let's 
six. Blossom Prancer awesome to get over yet. It's close though. It's very close. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay. Pay one. I was pay two. I need to get rid of one of them. Oh. Attack. Interesting. Close. Now it's not close. Ugh, that wrecked me. Man, that would have been nice. Interesting, he puts it on there. Oh, yeah. Now I don't really have enough to get across. Oh, so close. Yeah, that spinning wheel kick just wrecked me. And that's the power of Bamboo Grove Archer.
So you got to figure out how to how to deal with it. Okay. Taking that. Okaba is gonna look a lot earlier. Great. We have menace too. Really good for us. Okay. Um, I wanna play synthesizer when there's a chance to be able to play the card. So we're just gonna go ahead and say go. If we need to lethal exploit, we'll do that. Ooh, now it's minus two. Okay. Now let's see if we can grab a land or a two drop. There's land. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and say go. Put it on Shigeki. Okay. Still won't be able to. Okay. Will I get across? No. Two nice creatures this is great. Disciple is going to be bad. I kindled fury. Get to bore the next turn. Seismic wave now to get the damage across, and then I can lethal exploit. Mm. 
as well. Be three damage. You can bring it back to your hand. Okay. Hmm. Mm. That's the problem with these decks, man. You just get outvalued. Can we ping? Can we ping to win? Excuse me.
too. Nice. Still two. What are you gonna bring back? Two two cards? Well, he can't. If you bring cards back, yeah, we'll die. Yes, this will do it. Woo! And these aggro decks. And they push it. <sighs> Two wins. Oh boy. Cool stuff. Lots of red removal. No, I need I need just because I have removal. I I need something to put down. <sighs> this is not much better. <sighs> Try one more. Okay, much better, much better. <clears throat> Excuse me. Burping with water. You're also red. Interesting situation. Oh. I don't know. I need to kill that smelter. Can't play the Ronin. Well, I could play the Ronin to get damage in. I guess I do play the Ronin. See if I can get more damage in. Trade. I'm very happy with that.
Hmm. Now I'm in trouble. Attack alone and then bring the boar back. Really? Doesn't want to bring it back, huh? Oh, to get the Ronin back. Nice. Ugh. That's not good. Oh, man. <sighs> not having my black is really hurting me. I shouldn't have actually played that mountain. I realize I should have, uh... <sighs> well, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. Okay, so we're two and two. I don't mind if we get three wins here. Two wins would be rough. Christopher. Good. Wow. Um, <laughs> no. Okay, better. Oh man, this hurts. Wow. Don't tell me we're not gonna get um, 
my black sources again. Red green. It's an interesting mix. Oh, golly. That's scary. Man. Serious? Boy. God, this is a killer. Oh, you're killing me. Man, I guess this is what happens when you 15 land, right? Brutal. So brutal. <sighs> well, this is a sad. Oh, this is a problem with aggro decks, man. You don't have the land. Well, I mean, that goes with any deck, but... <sighs> Just some difficult hands to play. Just had it really rough. <sighs> I mean, ha it's interesting, actually. Like, even having the black that we had... But there were just so many key black cards that um, maybe it was a mistake to go 9-6. Maybe, maybe having the more balanced 8-7 was the better play. It's just hard because uh, you have such a... with 16-6 uh, as the balance, but... Oh, maybe maybe because all of my reds were had one red, maybe 9-6 wasn't the balance we were looking for. So maybe I screwed up with uh, my land balance. Like maybe that legitimately would have been better. We had some really weird hands though, right? We were like, we had six swamps and we managed to get an opening hand with three of them. So there are some, we just some really awkward starting hands. Um, But I don't know. Maybe I'll learn something about how to set up my lands here. I think 15 lands still was the right call. Uh, cause we did one, we did need to go aggro here. We saw a calling torment did uh, a lot of work for us here. Uh, if we saw that card, I think a bit more would have been solid. But again, to rely on a black card when we are like heavy red is really difficult to do. We never really got to play with our surge hacker mech, sadly. Never got a chance to, to help us out. <sighs> we Got some very weird, like, 
three drop stuff just again just some really awkward hands but you know that's the way it goes sometimes so uh hopefully we'll learn from this lesson here uh unfortunately we got beat by a couple of other sort of like aggro decks which seem to have more simian slings even though i had wheat three simian slings i don't know don't know anyways uh thank you for joining me for this draft all right uh, sadly, we were on the losing end this time, but hopefully for tomorrow, we will uh, have a better go at it. Just claim our consolation prize here. Thank you for joining me, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Take care.